Today we're going to be taking a look at the Fastway self-locking line of adjustable two ball mounts. So if you're looking for an easy to use, versatile ball mount, our Fastway self-locking ball mount is going to be able to adapt to several different trailers, keep everything secure without any extra components, and look good while doing it. If you tow multiple different trailers, chances are they're going to have a different coupler size or they're going to have a different tongue height. So we're going to have to switch out our ball mount. That can become a hassle, especially if we tow so many different trailers in any given day. Well, our Fastway ball mount is going to take care of that because we're going to be able to switch our height because it's going to be adjustable, but it's also going to give us two different ball sizes. Now our ball mounts are going to come in a lot of different configurations. We're going to have some that are going to be available for the two inch receiver tube like we have here, but some also available for the two and a half inch receiver tube. And they're going to have varying different drops and rises, that way you can pick one that's going to work with all of your trailers. Now one thing that you're really going to appreciate about this is that it's going to have self-contained locks. We're going to have this rubber grommet here that's going to have a plug over our lock cylinder. So we can just lift it open. And you'll notice that we're going to have a tubular key, so we're not going to have to worry about it being picked. But if we unlock our ball, we can slide it up or down to get the appropriate rise or drop. And then if we remove it, you'll notice that we're going to have another lock core right on the base here. Now this is going to be used so we can lock our ball mount directly to the receiver tube. If you watch, you can notice that the pins are going to go in. So we're not going to have to worry about losing our lock because it's going to be self-contained inside the ball mount. So we can simply just slide our ball mount in place, line up the pinholes, and then rotate our key until those pins extend out. And you can see that's not going anywhere. So we'll make sure that pin's in all the way. And we can slide our ball mount on, then we can rotate the key until we get into the slot and it'll lock it in place. Now our ball mount's not going to go anywhere and we're not going to have to worry about anybody stealing it from our receiver or taking the ball platform. And for extra peace of mind to make sure that you have the ball mount in the correct spot and it isn't just hung up, the key itself is not going to come out until it's fully in the locked position. So even if I get it halfway and the key is turned, it's still not going to come out because that pin hasn't fully inserted. But once it does, the key will come out. Each one of these notches in our ball mount here is going to be in one inch increments. So right now we have it in the rise position. And if we need to go up, say, two inches, we can just go up two notches and that'll give us that two inch rise. And the same thing if we were going down in the drop position. Each one of our ball mounts is going to come with a total of four keys and both sets of keys are going to work with both the locks. With the locks being right on front of the shank here and on the side of the ball platform, it's going to make it a lot easier than trying to get underneath the hitch here, messing with the pin and clip or a locking device. And it's one less thing that we have to worry about misplacing because our locks are going to be internal and they're going to be sealed off from any kind of dirt or debris. So we don't have to worry about them getting damaged. Each one of our ball mounts is going to be made out of a solid piece of aircraft grade aluminum. So we're not going to have to worry about any weak points because there's no welds in them to break. So they're going to be nice and strong and durable, but yet lighter weight than steel versions. Our ball mount right now we have in the drop position, but you can flip it over and put it in the rise position in case you have a trailer that's taller than the other so we can get a little bit more height or drop for whatever we need. Now each one of them is going to have two different balls on it. We're going to have a 2 inch ball and a 2 and 5 16 inch ball. And switching them is going to be just as easy as adjusting the height. We simply unlock it, flip the ball platform over to whichever ball we need. And when it comes to the trailer balls themselves, we're going to have two different options. We'll have the version we have here, which is going to be a steel chrome plated ball, which is your typical trailer ball. And then we're going to have the stainless steel version. Now these are going to be made out of a 303 stainless steel and they're going to be extremely rust and corrosion resistant. It's going to be really good for marine applications or anywhere that has a lot of moisture, even humidity, so we're not going to have to worry about rust. And that is another big benefit of the aluminum ball mount. It is going to be rust and corrosion resistant, so we know it's going to have this nice polished mirror finish for a long time. Now since our ball mounts are going to come in a variety of different configurations, 
the shank size and the ball size is going to make a difference on how much it can handle. So whenever you're towing you always want to double check your hitch as well as the vehicle's owner's manual and go with the lowest rating. Being able to adjust the ball mount up and down is nice, but if we don't know how much of a drop or rise we need, it doesn't do as much good. So we'll show you how to measure for the appropriate rise or drop for your trailer. You're going to want to measure from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening. You want to make sure that your towed vehicle is nice and flat and on a level ground whenever you make your measurement. So right here we're getting right about 17 inches. Now we can come to our trailer and again you want to make sure your trailer is nice and level. So we have our trailer chalked and we'll come up to the coupler and we'll measure from the ground to the bottom edge of the coupler here, which I'm getting right about 21 inches. So there's about a four inch difference, but since my trailer is higher, I'm going to want a four inch rise. So we'll take our ball mount, we'll make sure that the pins are all the way in, and since I need a rise, I'll put it in the rise position, slide it in the receiver tube, line up the holes, and turn the key and lock it in place. Then we can grab our ball platform and again open up the plug, take our key, make sure that pin goes all the way in, pick the appropriate ball for your trailer, we'll slide it down close to where we need it, and once we have it lined up, we can turn the key and replace the plug. So now we can go ahead and double check our measurements, make sure we're pretty close to that 21 inches, and we are. So now all we have left to do is back up and hook up to our trailer. That'll finish up your look at the Fastway self-locking line of adjustable two ball mounts.